Hi guys, welcome back to another amazing video. Today we'll be travelling what was called the Welly Loop Line, which is a freight avoiding line that was in the right in the centre of Wigan. Apparently this was built by the Lancashire Union in the late 1800s and it served two main purposes. One, they wanted to avoid all the freight going through the centre of Wigan, so they built the avoiding line, and two, he wanted to connect up all the individual freight lines and make it into one main connection so that the freight had a nice smooth movement all the way through. So they did try passengers on this line, apparently two stations were built, but they only lasted for two months, so I think that was a major flop. So from what I've been told there's some amazing infrastructures coming up, so let's hand you over to Nick. Take it away mate. Morning guys, we're, uh, we're walking the Welly Loop today, so we're starting up at Standitch, uh, and behind me is the, well over above me is the West Coast Main Line. The Standitch station used to be on the second bridge, because uh, it used to come up the Welly Loop and loop up with the West Coast Main Line, and then join up with it after the station. So behind is the old, uh, that was the way in the station, that portal what's been bricked up. So you go through that and up to the station which was on the second bridge. This is the old site of the old uh, Standitch station. So, so we're going to start our walk from here now. Well, there's, there's nothing left of it now like. Uh, but you can see the West Coast main line still very active there. And this bridge actually goes under the West Coast main line. That, that way goes down to Indley. And if you go north here, just around the corner, it goes up to what used to be old Standage uh, Railway Station and climbs up and joins the West Coast Main Line. So we're going to walk back in this direction. Okay, we're now on the other side of the, uh, the bridge, uh, which goes under the West Coast Main Line. And on this side here, there was a large uh, old inside injury really, where all the freight traffic was stored for work in the Welly Loop because it was essentially built as a freight line, although they did put railway stations on it like Welly. Yeah, we found a few artefacts from, uh, from the old line here. That looks like uh, an old coal straight. Did you store coal at the side of the line? So. We've got to the, found an abutment here from a, probably been an occupation bridge. So you can still see over here, they've uh, got the original stones up and everything. <laughs> well, we've just uh, walked down this section now, there was a bridge here crossing the road, I think this is the A49. We're going to continue this way now, ready towards what they called the 20 bridges, which was a... Uh, it's a large viaduct, it's still in place, we don't know whether we can access it or not. It's not in very good condition. Uh, but we're going to carry on and see what we can find. Right, we've got into the, uh, we're just at the top of the Douglas Valley now, which is where the two bridges crossed. One was the Welly Loop, which is the 20 Bridges viaduct. And the second one, you can just see what they call the dominoes. Uh, the pillars what used to support that bridge. Now, that actually went over the 20 bridges, it was higher, and it was part of the Union Railway, the, what they called the Lancashire the Union Railway, what started at Widnes and ran on to Cherry Tree on the, uh, on the East Length Line. So the dominoes are still there. People go climbing them apparently with ropes, you know. But, uh, but we got on top of the uh, Lancashire the Union Railway track bed. And you can see the dominoes, so we're looking down on top of the dominoes for me. That's what climbers uh, put their life at risk to climb onto the top of them. It's amazing what you can still find here. There's uh, plate layers up there. <laughs> I don't know how that survived all these years. But it's still standing. Testament to where it was built, I suppose. So this is the Lancashire Union Railway again. We're heading for the 20 bridges now, so you can see where the like, Union Railway went over the Weller Loop and it continued up to Chorley. Well, 
well we've made it and uh, the, the gate's unlocked, I can't believe it. Last time I got here I couldn't get through, there was a big padlock on the gate. But they've left it open. Now it is a bit of a dodgy bridge, it's falling to pieces so if I don't make another comment after this I fell through the bridge onto the River Douglas. And uh, here we are on the famous 20 bridges so follow me. <laughs> It's quite amazing up here, there's, uh, there's even rails here, uh, still in place. <laughs> Behind me though, you can see the line just below the fences. That was like the connecting line, the collecting, connecting loop, which took the welly loop and joined it up with the Lancashire the Union Railway. It used to go along the top of there and up this lane, there was a, a little uh, occupational bridge it used to go over. Uh, there's a viaduct we just walked over. And like Nick said, look at the condition of that. It's certainly chipping away. It's a shame really because it's a lovely piece of uh, Victorian engineering that. Nice. Oh my god, it's not that any better on the other side. It's actually like it's ready to drop. And if by magic we're on the other side. So, as Nick mentioned earlier, they're the avoiding lines that went on with that union. This is our main line. So here's a deeper shot. So like I say, that's our main line that we just come from. But there's two lines, like I say, that joined our line. The welly line, as it were. You can see how they're the different gradients, but they're nice and smooth. And they're going to meet up somewhere around there. See if I can get more clues. So as you may notice, we are nearly all joined together again. So this is where it comes from one main junction back to main two lines through and beyond. So this junction here was called Welly Junction. Welly Junction is where the two lines join together. Yeah, that's what I like about these winter walks. All these little gems are just fully exposed. I expect this was part of a ground frame. Because like I say, we're still at that junction where it's split into three. Can you see us slightly ahead there? That wood, that looks like another junction point. Yeah, definitely summit here. Yeah, that's interesting. See you know that brickwork around there, that right near that tree? And this might have been a signal box, you know. Right on the junction, and it's pretty flush as well. Yeah, this is a, a solid concrete base. So like you say, this could have been Storage area, bod box, I suspect it was a signal box. Look at all those frames in the background. So maybe a big ground frame. But yes, this was it. Look at all these clues, this is heaven. Uh, well, looks like we're a bridge out. Wow. Just come up a bit further, a couple of hundred yards, and look at all these bits strewn here, there and everywhere. Again, looks like there was some kind of a point control. Eee, that's what lies ahead. Still an easy walk though. Nice. And there we have us a signal. A colour aspect signal. And that's where we're off. As you can see this is the part of the trip where it's just a straight route. Not a lot of clues, but a lovely walk. As you can see it's rather squelchy. But we're getting there. Looks like there's a nice bridge ahead. Bring it on. Yeah, nice bridge ahead. Apparently we're near something called Hague Hall at the moment. Now if you look close at that bridge, this is the one that goes to Hague Hall. It looks like very Victorian, it's like been filled in. It looked like it was raw iron originally. So as I say, we're keeping going. Plenty of countryside, but pretty clear as you can see. Now this looks interesting. There's nothing really marked on the maps, you know, for sidings or anything, but 
This looks like it had a purpose. Let's have a look. So here we are at the start of that structure. It might be a bridge, you know. Look at the way it arcs round to there the abutments. And it's same again on the other side. You have all these little bits sticking out. But look at all these metal cast iron things. What's that all about? I don't know. Maybe fencing? Strange one this. Very strange. Answers on a postcard. As you say, we still keep going and it's still got all these bits and bobs on it. Look how deep it is. It's definitely not a station. Definitely not a station. So I say still in that vicinity of Haig Hall. Look at it. It's just going on and on and on and on and oh my god. How the hell do I get past that? So there's that chaos we managed to crawl under, just. Ouch. This is the chaos ahead. And there's that bridge I filmed earlier. Nice. Just want to share with you this fantastic bridge. Look at that. It's a road bridge. Expect it goes to the hall again. But they certainly uh, did not hold back when it came to making it posh. So here we are on the other side. And if you notice that structure is still there in the distance. It seems to petering out. Well, here's that lovely bridge I was telling you about. Fantastic. Ugh. Brick, not stone. The stone on the outside to look posh. As you can see, originally brick structure. So we've just been speaking to one of the locals. Apparently this used to be a tunnel. Yes, the landowner wouldn't allow them to have a railway through it, so he said you can go under. But apparently it collapsed. So it was a finally agreed that they'd build that posh bridge to get to his posh hall. Well, it looks like this was here during the railways, looking at all the structure around it. And there it is on the other side. I wonder if it was capped to go under to come up again. Here we are, we've reached the other end where the tunnel finishes. Can you see the abutments at the side? And you can also see where they've chipped away at the rock and put those bricks strategically underneath. Very nice. Yep, there she is looking back. And there she is looking forward. My apologies for earlier. Apparently we're coming up to a Lindsay pit will be on the left. The steel plant is after the station. So let's find Lindsay pit coming up very shortly. Wow. Notice how here I was spread out. Look at that. These are the start the sidings that went on to Lindsay Pit. This is the main line that leads us to Welly Station. But yes, things are beginning to look a bit more industrial now. I think they've adapted the land, you know. Look at all these straight lines. This is where the pit was, or the grounds for it. But it's just all been landscaped. With these cute little lines and plenty of trees in between. Yeah, apparently there was more than one pit here. Lindsay Pit was the first one, but there was another one as well. And this is where they were. This is where the line curved up to one of the collieries. And it curved the other side up to another colliery. But yeah, very open planned at the moment. Luckily the river don't move, even though the landmarks might. Don't know what that's all about. But this is now the start of the bike lane. The railway is now a cycle path. Let's see what clues we could still find. At least the guys have preserved some of the railway stuff here. You can see there with those cable holders. Well done. Yeah, some railway bits and bobs I'm sure. Not sure what though. And look what we've got in the skyline. Yeah, first generation internet. How we used to talk in the old days. So this was the very end of the colliery. We're coming up to the roadway and straight after the road we'll hopefully find some signs of a station at Welly. Final approach, Welly station is ahead under that bridge. As you can see that's not the original bridge but they made a good effort. Just look at this station, this is amazing. You can see there where the indent was for the buildings where the platforms were but on this side still got the original bricks look at the indents here 
Looks like there's some major offices here. This is fantastic. Look how deep it is. That is a bit deep just for a waiting room, you know. Very, very, very nicely preserved. Certainly tell there was a station here. Yeah, apparently we're now coming up to an area known as Round House Junction. Apparently there was a load of sidings leading down from Welly that went up to this junction that went on to what was called Round House Branch. Apparently it went to the back of the steelworks, whereas we'll be following it at the front. So bring it on. So yes, yeah, still looking over where them sidings were we mentioned earlier. And look at all this silver birch, that's a good sign that we had railway activity here. Sidings or otherwise. Tons of ballast. So the main route we're going on at the moment, like I say, goes straight ahead. Yeah, well this is, a, we've just walked down from Welly, what used to be Welly Station, down the loop. And uh, there would have been a bridge over here, what crossed the canal, leads the Liverpool Canal, at the top lock here. And you can see the abutment there from part of the bridge, that's all what seems to be left of it. So we're going to continue down that way. Okay, we've got a, uh, we've just crossed the canal now. We're still heading south, round the loop. This is, was the site of the steelworks, so like a steelworks corking plant. There was uh, all sorts of stuff here. There was lots of sort of movement here, lots of lines. It was rail fed, of course. And uh, they've not done anything with it. They just left it, basically. Well, I was mad enough to climb up that hill. And I'm knackered. But this is the site of the steel plant. Apparently there are some slag... Uh, Piles still lying around, as well as some soiled pools, but nothing visible at the moment. But you, this is where it all was. This is where the industry happened. Oh, let's get down to the bottom again. Yeah, one or two buildings uh, just before the entrance into the plant. As you say, you've no taller birch. That's railway sidings. So there's a bridge out here at the moment. And this originally went over another railway line that went underneath. That originally went to Springs Branch from that steel depot. Wow, again, another nice winter find. As you can see here, this was like an old gantry. That's a semaphore gantry. Most probably because there's a junction coming up that will go back onto the line that's still running. So this is just before the bridge. Uh, Makersfield Road is, goes above it. Let's see if we can find this junction that goes back onto the main line. Well, we've got here to the break of Springs Branch now. Uh, that's the welly loop what continues that way. And behind me, that's the direct line into Springs Branch. The back, back of Springs Branch depot, really. Railway depot. So we're going to carry on down the Springs Branch one and leave the welly loop one now. OK, so this is, we've got to a, a bridge now with the... Uh, the, this is the, like the inlet of Wigan line, the cross country line. We're going to carry on down to this to get to the West Coast main line at Springs Branch because this is the Springs Branch section. Right, so now as far as a place called Amberswood, which is for Hindley. Uh, I've had a look everywhere, can't find any signs of it. So, hey ho. Here we are at Amberswood East Junction. This is a junction that went off to the left and joined up with the Great Central Line heading towards Manchester. As you can see, there's plenty of clues lying around, but there's no signs of it at all. This has all been made into a nature reserve. So we're now at the point where Amberswood West Junction used to be. So strangely enough, I am looking now exactly where the Welly Line used to go, straight through the middle of this lake. Apparently the West Line used to go off to the right. Now, if I start to turn round, this is the route that we'll be taking eventually to Ince Moss Junction. So again, there's another junction coming off where there's a spur going onto the West Coast Main Line. As you can see, we're tracing the route, but there's nothing to be seen. It's all been cultivated. But it's a nice straight line right to where we join up very south of Springs Branch. We're just having a good rummage around this area and you can see there's still plenty of sign of industry. Apparently there used to be a colliery, a strange way colliery. So if we turn around, you can see where the spur is that went off to the left to the west coast main line. And we're following it now straight up to Ince. There you go, signs of a true trip. One more trolley on the list. 
very hard to make out, but this is the route to line. The silver birch speaks for itself. Look what's ahead. How the hell do I get through there? Wow, I tell you what guys, that was not an easy walk. So here we are crossing the road. So we went over this road and we also went over the West Coast Main Line. Hopefully pick it up on the other side. So this is a location of Fir Tree House Junction. Apparently the Welly Line followed that tree line. But there was also a spur on the right which went onto the Platte Bridge Line. And this is the route that's going to take us to Ince Moss Junction, our final destination. So yeah, we're nearly there. Look at it. This area hasn't been touched much, luckily. So there's still loads of bits and bobs, railway infrastructure still in standing. Let's see what gems we can find around here, eh, mate? I was going to take you over this. Looks like we're going no further. Alright, let's see what's ahead. Looks like we've been landscaped. So near yet so far, eh mate? But at least we can see where she came out. There you go, there's a better angle. There's that bridge. And the line came through here. We're nearly there. So this is the route to the line. It was on an embankment. And we finally approach Ince Moss Junction. Although this was the end of the line, there was also another spur which is still alive, and that connected Ince Moss Junction with the West Coast Main Line. But yes, this is where the Welly Loop finished. So I'm now going to leave you with some video footage of this Welly Line in action. Enjoy. <laughs> 